Right, I should be recording. <sighs> this church is open till five o'clock. It's about quarter past um, four. I managed to get here after quite a steep climb up many hills. Anyway, this is St Michael's Church of Clapton in Gordano. I can't find the lights and it is very, very dark in here. There's a most beautiful structure carved in wood here. Um, and I don't know whether it'll come out at all because I can't find the like I can see switches, but um, I don't know if you're allowed to. I, I can't see them, see, because basically I ain't got my glasses. So um, otherwise it could be that some of these um, could be that. I don't know. Never mind, I might, might get some natural light. Some lovely wooden pews here, all curved round. Very old, very worn. Like I said, I might find some switches in a minute, but nice little font. I'm just capturing what I can because basically this shuts at five. Somebody might come turn the lights on for me. It's a very shame because um this beautiful structure here. Um there's a wooden I don't even know if that'll come out, a wooden um carved shield. I see you can't even see my fingers up. That's how dark it is in here. We might be able to see more when we get up at the altar end. It's a bit more light. Oh yeah, it's worth coming to see. Of course, I always forget my glasses, don't I? Now here we've got something that might come out. Some figurines. Sometimes they come out even when you don't think they will. They actually come out when you produce the video. The Winter Monument in the Manoral Chapel. Of course, like, I, I it's all going to come out very, very dark, isn't it? Unfortunately. And of course, I can't read anything. We've got a little bit of light here for this window. And I don't know whether that would allow anything to come out, if I've got that behind me. The large Renaissance-style stone monument required a window to be blocked up. Similar monuments appear elsewhere in East Brent. It was intended to record future generations of winters, of, looks like winters, on their journey from earth to heaven. Sadly, only caused the death of a young child, Edmund. It doesn't really say a great deal um, on there at all. Here lieth the body of Edmund, son of Henry Esquire, who departed this life on November the 25th, 1672. Right, now it says here, beneath important 16th century Biblical text beneath the plaster on this wall. Please do not be tempted to start flaking off more plaster. So beneath here, if you see there, look, there's a f some um, text there. Obviously, an old fresco. It's in very good condition in many areas here. This is a preserved building. Here lies the body of Dorothy Southcott, the daughter of Nicholas Southcott of um, Bovey Tracy in Devon by Mary, the daughter of James Percival of Somerset. That could be Percival, by the way. So there's lots of old graves here. This is one with a 
big um, coat of arms on it there and that is Winter, the wife of William Winter Esquire who departed this life the day of something or other. So there's another big one there. So I'm just coming from a distance to see if I can capture some of that because it is very dark. The Manoral Chapel. I don't, it's a shame really, there aren't no lights. This church is right out in the middle of nowhere, by the way. There's a little door through here. Oh, a bit more light. A bit more light in here. That's a lovely decorated, very old decorated ceiling there with rosette carvings and things. Somebody winter or something there. The pulpit looks pretty old. God, I'd really like to be able to get an image of that wooden feature down there. would be very good. This is a very, very old church. I'm glad I got in. Now what have we got here? Stone monument or wall? The horseman's foot rests on the coat, rests on the Arthur coat of arms are now joined by the crescent moon of the winters. The Arthur coat of arms also appears on the east side of the battle tower at Clapton Court, but rather puzzlingly they also use the, I think it's a clarion symbol, akin to a bugle, which appears among the oak leaf decorations of the capitals and nearby chancel columns. Here lies the body of William Winter Esquire who departed this life the 21st day of April 1632. Also Mary his wife, daughter and heir unto Edward Arthur Esquire who departed this life the 17th day of February 1632. Also three sons and four daughters. So that's somewhere, must be under the ground or something. So there, oh look, here we've got an emergency way out, look. That's the fire exit. God, it's massive, it's like that, like a really huge barn, but the ceiling is absolutely amazing. I hope some of it comes out because it really is amazing carved ceiling here with Tudor roses and other designs and little figurines as well in the wooden surrounds. It looks like a little, I don't know if it's a leper window but they used to be screened off sometimes during mass certain people were beautiful in here, lovely wooden. I hope the alarm doesn't go off when I go here. I can't see a ribbon, but sometimes I have um, alarms in these places. I wonder if they're real. Anna something Hinks of Tickenham. Uh, there's some of the um, Bible written there. I don't know what that would have been for. Not 
over decorated the altar area. Little piscina, another little space there. It's a lot lighter up this end. I'm just hoping eventually that wooden screen some light might shine. It seems to be getting lighter in here actually. It does seem to be getting lighter in here. I know there are some very ancient features in here. Um, That's, that's, I suspect they're quite old, the stained glass at the top there as well. Sometimes the little windows escaped destruction during the Puritan times. But this looks like a church that's being preserved again. These are plastic, I reckon they are. They might not be mine. They just have got that sort of feel of real. Yeah, I reckon they might be real. That's dying a bit there. Some lovely carved places for people to sit. Here lies the body of Ed. Oh, I can't read that. Aketal, late rector of Roxall and Clapton, who died 1685, and Ed. Angerty the second, his son, since rector of Clapton, who died 1697. Like I said, we've got people buried in churches. Stuckville's, Hassel's, Isaacson's. Oh, that's an interesting feature, isn't it? See, you can miss things if you go too quick. Look. I wonder what that's a symbol of. Be interesting to look up, wouldn't it? An angel. Sacred to the memory of the Reverend Charles Wood BA for 19 years, the beloved rector of this parish who fell asleep on Sunday the 19th of April 1896. Through his exertions, the nave and chancel of this church were repaired and to complete the good work, the tower was restored by friends who subscribed for this tablet. Honour thy father and thy mother, that thy days may be long in the land which the Lord thy God given thee. Thou shalt not mur do murder, thou shalt not commit adultery, thou shalt not steal, thou shalt not bear false witness against thy neighbour. Yes, the Ten Commandments, which we never had to learn, but we, we were aware of them. To the glory of God and to the commemorate the 14 years faithful ministry of the Reverend William, I don't know if it's Horn, that they've had to chain up. It starts going dark now. The moment I move away from here, it starts to go dark. I haven't been able to find any more um, lights anywhere. There's another little door here, look. The Medieval Church. Because I didn't brought my glasses, unfortunately. Beyond this door is the stone staircase which used to lead to the high level ro road loft to a platform from which psalms would be sung. The loft would have contained a large crucifix with a statue of the Virgin Mary and St. somebody or other each side.
Yeah, it's terrible not bringing me glasses. I should have brought it on this trip, really. I'm just going to walk back through there to see if more light might shine on that statue. If I enter from this direction, there would be more light from this direction on that enormous statue. At least if you've got locked in here, you knew you could get out, didn't it? I said they got one in um, Brent Knoll Church as well, like this. Even the curtains look very old, don't they? Oh, look at that. Little flags. Right, over and out for a minute. 